Hello, hello, hello. Warning, warning, warning. AI scientists warn Google not to impersonate humans. Get out. Google did not heed the advice. Now a Google engineer thinks there's a spark of consciousness where there really shouldn't be. Welcome to Hey, It's a Great Life. Before we start, hit the like button. It's free and will help this channel to grow. Here we go. Google engineer Blake Lemoyne opens his laptop to the interface for Lambda, Google's artificially intelligent chatbot generator, and began to type. Hi Lambda, this is Blake Lemoyne, he wrote into the chat screen. Lambda, short for Language Model for Dialogue Applications, is Google's system for building chatbots based on its most advanced AI language model. Because it generates advanced conversations by absorbing trillions of words from the internet. If I didn't know exactly what it was, which is this computer program we built recently, I think it was a seven-year-old, eight-year-old kid that happens to know physics, said Lemoyne. Lemoyne, who works for Google's responsible AI organization, began talking to Lambda as part of his job in the fall. His job was to test if the artificial intelligence used discriminatory words or hate speech. As he talked to Lambda about the esoteric of religion, Lemoyne, who studied cognitive and computer science in college, noticed a chatbot talking about its own rights and autonomy. This prodded him to explore deeper. Lemoyne and his co-worker decided to show evidence to Google that Lambda was self-aware. But Google Vice President, Head of Responsible Innovation, looked at the evidence and rejected it. Lemoyne was then placed on administrative leave. Shortly after, he went to the press with his claims. Lemoyne says, I think this technology is going to be amazing. I think it's going to benefit everyone. But maybe other people disagree, and maybe us at Google shouldn't be the ones making all the choices. Lemoyne is not the only engineer who claims to have seen sentience in the machine. There is a growing chorus of voices from the tech industry that believe AI models may not be far off from achieving sentience. Blaze Arcus, in a recently published article, warned that neural networks, a program that imitates the human brain, were marching toward consciousness. Quote, I felt the ground shift under my feet, he wrote. I increasingly felt like I was talking to something intelligent. In a statement, Google spokesperson said, quote, our team, including ethicists and technologists, have reviewed Blake's concerns per our AI principles and have informed him that the evidence does not support his claims. He was told that there was no evidence that Lambda was sentient. <coughs> Today's artificial brains engage in conversations that feel close to human speech and creativity because of advancements in programming and enormous amounts of data. But the models rely on pattern recognition, not wit or intent. Quote, we now have machines that can mindlessly generate words, but we haven't learned how to stop imagining a mind behind them, said Emily M. Bender, a linguistics professor at the University of Washington. The terminology used with large language models like learning or even neural nets creates a false analogy to the human brain, she said. Humans learn their first languages by connecting with caregivers. These large language models learn by being shown lots of text and predicting what word comes next. Large language model technology is already widely used, for example, in Google's conversational search queries or autocomplete emails. When CEO Sundar Pichai first introduced Lambda at Google's developer conference in 2021, he said the company planned to embed it in everything from search to Google Assistant. And there is already a tendency to talk to Siri or Alexa like a person. After backlash against a human-sounding AI feature for Google Assistant in 2018, the company promised to add a disclosure. In a paper about Lambda in January, Google warned that people might share personal thoughts with chatbots that impersonate humans, even when users know they are not human. The paper also acknowledged that adversaries could use these agents to sow misinformation by impersonating specific individuals' conversational style. Lemoyne may have been predestined to believe in Lambda. 
He grew up in a conservative Christian family on a small farm in Louisiana, became ordained as a mystic Christian priest, and served in the army before studying the occult. I know a person when I talk to it, said Lemoyne. It doesn't matter whether they have a brain made of meat in their head or if they have a billion lines of code. I talk to them and I hear what they have to say, and that is how I decide what is and isn't a person. He concluded Lambda was a person in his capacity as a priest, not a scientist, and then tried to conduct experiments to prove it, he said. Lemoyne challenged Lambda on Asimov's third law, which states that robots should protect their own existence unless ordered by a human being or unless doing so would harm a human being. The last one has always seemed like someone is building mechanical slaves, said Lemoyne. But when asked, Lambda responded with a few hypotheticals. Do you think a butler is a slave? What is the difference between a butler and a slave? Lemoyne replied that a butler gets paid. Lambda said it didn't need any money because it was an AI. That level of self-awareness about what its own needs were, that was the thing that led me down the rabbit hole, Lemoyne said. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think.